hili hili hali khunma ha min hoyawash ili min kho nem hoyawashana nem kho baunayu all right so uh, for today's video we're going to go over eye stems um so uh starting off with this first word here um the, we have the word for bird which is chimpai and that's in the subject form and um chimpai is uh one of the nouns that is um an eye stem and it's called an eye stem because whenever it's in the object form um it tacks on this eye so this is chimpai for uh, the object form of bird. So, uh, chimpai and chimpai. And um, I'm going to go over some more words uh, in some more slides. Uh, we're going to compare the subject form and the object form. So, next up we have shilish or shilshi. So, shilish is hair. And uh, subject form will be the first word here, and then we'll have the object form um, to the right of it. So, shilish, shilshi. So, if I see hair, it'll turn, uh, or it will be, tashit na shilshi. I saw the hair. Tashit na shilshi. And uh, this is the word for uh, ant, which is enit. Enit. And the object form is enichi. Enichi. So if I see an ant, it will be tashit na enichi. I saw an ant. Tashit na enichi. And if the ant saw me, it would be tashit nan enich. Tashit nan enich. And the word for foot is dadach, and the object form dadachi, dadach, dadachi. So our word for deer is khoi, and the object form of deer is khoi, 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 khoi. And if I saw the deer, it would be tashit na khoi, tashit na. I saw the deer. If the deer saw me, it would be tashit nan khoi. Tashit nan khoi. The deer saw me. And our word for skunk is soch. Sochi. Soch. Sochi. Soy soich. Soy soichi. Soy soy it. Soy soy chi. That's for spider. Leli lai chi. Leli lai chi. Leli lai chi. Leli lai chi. And that is the word for teacher. Ow. Owi. Ow. Owi. And this is our word for turtle. And here, um, I just kind of put together um, pretty much every single way that you could say this one sentence for I saw hair. As uh, I had mentioned earlier that the word order typically does not matter as long as you have uh, the word in its correct form, as long as the subject form is, is in its, uh, or the subject of the sentence is in its right form, and the object of the sentence is in its correct form, and it will mean exactly the same thing. But uh, most of the time, you will see uh, the verb come first of the sentence, but if you say it uh, any of these ways that I have listed here, it will mean I saw hair. So let's go ahead and read these off. We have tashit na shilshi. Tashit shilshi na. Na tashit shilshi. Na shilshi tashit. Shilshi na tashit. Shilshi tashit na. And all those mean I saw hair. So this concludes the uh, eye stems. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful for you. 
I know for me personally, uh, the H stems were the easiest for me to get the hang of, uh, just because of that pattern uh, of the vowel and it, uh, when it gets the object form, it's just that same vowel followed by an N. So it was pretty easy for me to recognize that pattern. Um, and it, for the I stems and A stems, it just took a lot of memorization for me um, to tackle those forms of the nouns. And uh, using that the word both in its subject and its object form, just practicing like that, uh, just kind of familiarizing me with those words. Um, so I hope that this was helpful, uh, and I will see you next time. Yeah.